Alright, y'all. I know, I know, I know. It's been a long ass time. Well over a month. But I got an explanation for y'all. No, the fuck I don't, bro. Look, I'm tired of explaining myself to y'all all the goddamn time, bro. I'm a grown ass motherfucker. I'm a grown ass motherfucker man, dog. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Niggas, already see where the niggas, but they, they upload a lot now. But like, they weren't uploading before. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Niggas be uploading like once a month, like hard stop news. Shit, nigga, I can do whatever the fuck I want to. Even though I ain't got a million subscribers and all that. But still, I feel like, yo, if y'all fuck with me, then y'all fuck with me. But for the ones who actually need an explanation, I've been sick as shit for a whole month. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you've been on my Instagram, then you've seen. Bro, I could barely talk without coughing. Like, every single time I coughed, bro, I was on live one time, coughed in a whole bunch of fucking sick. Or home. Semen. I was dead ass about to say, dog, I, I be feeling like sometimes, like, bro, I'm gay. I gotta be gay at this point. Look, man, a nigga been sick. You know what I'm saying? And aside from me being sick, bro. I already shot this video, nigga. Like, bro, I shot this on my iPhone 7. And as I was trying to export it, the phone kept shutting off. Bro, I tried to export it one more time. And the shit didn't cut on anymore. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. Daquan, you mean to tell me after all of this time, you were still recording on the phone? My nigga, I'm not Logan Paul. Bro, I ain't got near as much money as any of these YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, these niggas be having all types of crazy setups. Like, my nigga having the controller with the green screen, the nice ass motherfucking chair with the with the nice ass camera, the lights and shit. Nigga, I ain't got, nigga, all of my shit is from Walmart, nigga. These niggas be ordering this shit. Like, nigga, nigga, or, or, my nigga, I can't even order a slice of pizza without my car getting declined. Fuck, I look like trying to order some lights. So until I learn to monetize my following, aside from selling. Nigga selling drugs, bro. Look, I was about to say merch. Nigga, I ain't sold not a drop of merch since I started because I don't even know how to do that shit. But look, every time I keep going to these conventions, niggas keep trying to get me weed, bro. They're like, oh, they call me trying to smoke with you, bro. I got all of this weed for you. Nigga, I be selling that shit. Nigga, what? Y'all be like, yo, bro, I hope it's not trash. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if it's trash. Somebody else finna cop that shit. Now, I want to apologize for that long introduction, you know what I'm saying, being a YouTuber because y'all know me, you know what I'm saying. In my videos, I like to get straight to the point. That's why I can never be a porn star because all I'm going to do is make gifts. You know what I'm saying? Now, that apology right there was not only for this long ass introduction, but also for how long it took me to give y'all this video. So, without further ado, it's time for my first ecstasy trip. Part two. The mission. Okay, so let's start off right where we left off. I get out of the shower and the Hokage calls with a mission. So my ex calls me and she says, Daquan. I'm sorry for not picking up earlier, but if you would still like to hang out, let me know. Hang out? With my fucking wang out? What the fuck you mean hang out? Bitch, I'm trying to fuck. Fuck y'all talking about. See, look, y'all girls got to understand this. When we use words like hang out, chill, kick it. Bitch, I will kick you the fuck out of my house if we don't fuck. Like, like we only use words like that. Before we have sex, you know what I'm saying? Like, after that, we have no need to sugarcoat it. Look, this is what y'all girls gotta start looking at dating like. Y'all gotta start looking at it like, like it's an anime, you know what I'm saying? Like, say for instance, if our date was an anime, the main goal, like, is sex. Anything before that is a filler. Like, bitch, none of this shit is a part of the manga. I'm trying to fuck. Y'all girls be bullshitting. Like, y'all know y'all be on a mission and get y'all whole back blown out. But then y'all want to do all this extra shit in between. Like, this nigga Luffy never said he wanted to save all these other kingdoms and princesses and shit. This nigga threw on a straw hat and said, I want to be the king of the pirates. That's it. Anything that happens in between there, it happens. So guess what? If I got to show up to the date like this, we fucking! So anyways, like I was saying, my ex calls me and tells me the show come over. And I'm like, hell yes, nigga. This is exactly the mission that you've been waiting for. So I dry off, go to get dressed. As I'm putting on my boxers, I'm pulling them up. And when I get to where I'm covering up my private area, I feel this excruciating pain. Then I look down. Bruh, my little grapes can turn to raisins, nigga. I squeeze every drop of wine out these motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell y'all, but look, I don't even know why I ain't thinking none of this shit before I invited her over. So needless to say, I had to cancel that mission for the night. But it doesn't mean the mission was fully canceled. It just means it was canceled for the night. So I wake up 11 hours later, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is about to sound so bad, but I really don't give a fuck. I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. Nigga, the first thing I did was pop another one. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. This nigga is wildin', bruh. The first thing you do when you wake up is pop ecstasy like my nigga... Like, the best part of waking up 
Ain't Folgers, nigga. It's taking XD. Like, I'm not even gonna front, bro. I'm not trying to promote the use of XD. Trust me. I don't want any of y'all motherfuckers to use it, but I'm just saying the way it made me feel. You feel me? So I'll wake up and I'll take another one. But I knew this time I needed to be smarter about this. This time I actually need something in my system before this takes full effect. So I need to eat something. Now, y'all know how I am. I told y'all I don't eat unless I'm high. So I go to get high. My whole rolling up process takes all of six minutes. I time the shit, you know what I'm saying? And I know to a lot of y'all, y'all might be like, oh damn, that's a long ass time, nigga. I like to chill, roll up, and smoke. But my whole smoking session altogether takes about a good 20 minutes. Which of course, if y'all paid attention to the last video, you know. That's all it took to affect me. Y'all gotta understand, I am not the sharpest tool in the cabinet. The fuck, the, 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 the dresser, not the, the fucking drawer. There's tool, no, the knife in it. Is it the knife in it? Nigga, I'm halfway retarded. None of this shit clicked to me. Like, bro, I thought I'm gonna wake up, roll up, smoke, then go cook myself something to eat. My nigga, all of that will take easily 45 minutes. So after getting high, I go downstairs in my kitchen and I have some chicken breasts in the fridge that I planned on frying. I take the chicken breast out so I can season them. It's about to get a little weird. So I take the chicken out the packet throw it in a Tupperware bowl and start seasoning. And I like to really season my food. Like I like to rub the seasoning in there really good to make sure it's well seasoned. So I start doing that. As I'm doing this, I started realizing like, bro, this is a chicken breast. Like, like a, like, like a breast. Of a, of a chicken. It's still a titty though. Bro, I'm sitting here massaging the season in city chicken breast. Both hands. Trying to find a nipple. I, I knew shit was getting a little out of hand when I started seasoning the chicken with my eyes closed, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I know it sounds a little weird, but like, dog, I was on my soaker shit, bro. Nigga, I'm over here seasoning the chicken just like this, bro. I'm seasoning the joint, you know what I'm saying? Both hands. Chicken breast sliding all through my hands and shit. I'm like, bruh, close my eyes. Threw my head back. Still seasoned. I am a fucking weirdo, bruh. Yeah, so I had to make myself some microwave ravioli after that because uh, those chicken breasts got a little extra seasoned in the future. I'm joking, nigga. Ain't no fucking, don't think I'm that weird. So anyways, a few hours pass and it's about seven o'clock in the evening my ex calls she says daquan i'm on the way but just to let you know i'm on my period moses might have been the first nigga to park the red sea but he damn sure ain't finna be the last bitch if you don't bring your ass over what the fuck wrong with you you on your period bitch i'm on ecstasy like what you saying like i don't run this red light she says okay well i was just letting you know i say okay well just let me know when you're outside she pulls up, she comes inside, I came inside, <laughs> I mean, she comes inside of my house. The first thing she says to me is, Daquan, why do you have a bottle of Astro Glide next to a bowl of chicken breast? I mean, I, I mean, that might've been one of the details that I failed to mention, but I felt like if I would've told y'all that I tried to titty fuck some chicken breast, I probably would've turned the video off. Which, which I didn't. It was, it was attempted. Bro, put it like this, nigga, if this was a charge, bro, I would get, I wouldn't get convicted, bro. I would get, like, conspiracy, trying to fuck some chicken titties. Bro, this, sound, this all sound weird as a bitch. Anyways, I tell her that I just bought it yesterday and I forgot to put it on. So, she looks at my eyes and she's like, Daquan, you're on some shit. And I'm like, yeah, I'm on some XD. Look, I ain't even gonna front. You know what I'm saying? Do you want some? She was like, fuck. I mean, how do you feel right now, though? So I told her straight up, yo, look, I'm gonna keep it all the way at band with you. I feel amazing. Like, this is literally one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. I feel happy. Literally, any and everything feels good. She gives me this look like. Nigga, I know damn well your weird ass ain't forget to put that lube up. Like, you're weird ass motherfucker. But, <laughs> I, she ain't hesitate to take that motherfucker though. She says, well, shit, well, go ahead and let me try one. I'm like, yo. Here you go, gave it to her, gave her something to drink, she took it. Now I know what y'all are thinking, bro, what? you ain't warned her about any of the side effects. Like, bro, I wanted to. Trust me when I say I wanted to. But y'all gotta understand the way I was feeling. I'm like, bro, if, if she feels that way, 
The sex about to be on a thousand, nigga. Y'all gotta understand that my ex is a very conservative girl. Like, bruh, she is like one of the most innocent women I've ever dealt with in my life. So I'm like, yo, bruh, if I can't bring the freak out of her, maybe this ecstasy can. Dog, she takes it. And the first thing I ask her, yo, when did you eat? She says, I mean, well, I think earlier, um, I, well, actually, I, I, I don't remember eating today. I was actually gonna ask you, did you wanna eat something? I mean, I, I I would love to eat something, but um, you, you see, I like I like my my steak well done. If you get what I'm saying. Basically, I wasn't hungry, but I asked her. I was like, well, I mean, if you really do want to eat something, I did prepare a nice little tube steak for you. You know. And so after all of this talk about food, she says, you know what, Daquan, don't worry about it. I'll just eat later. And I'm like, yes. Check my watch, and I was like, okay. 20 more minutes till we get back in the manga. Now, at this point, my shit done been kicked in. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, y'all know, because, well, I was wilding out on the chicken breast and shit. But, like, yo, I'm next to her, and I'm sitting there looking at her like, damn, bro, I want to lick all over her body. But look at those sideburns, though. Bro, I, I never knew she had that much hair on her arms. I mean, but I was still licking, but like, what if it like I'm licking a spider? Now my ex knows I've always loved this woman's feet. You know what I'm saying? It definitely when she puts them on me. So we sitting there on a the couch, bruh, she takes her foot and puts it on my foot. Dog, her skin felt so soft. It literally felt like it melted onto my foot. Dog, her foot felt so warm and gentle. I'm sitting here like, yo, bruh, oh my God, bro, why does her foot feel so good? Why does her foot, bruh, I'm sitting there rubbing her foot on my face. Nigga, I still thought she had her foot on my foot. Bruh, I'm rubbing this woman's foot all over my face, right? Then I start taking my little chin hair. I don't even know where I got the idea to do this. And I'm taking my chin hair and rubbing it up and down her foot. And I'm like, yo, bruh, I see exactly why we were together. Like we might not be two peas in a pod, but we damn sure two sex offenders are the same register. You know what I'm saying? So in the middle of all this, she says, Daquan, you want to take this upstairs? And I said, of course, definitely. I'll meet you up there in a few minutes. She says, okay, I'll be getting ready. Soon as she says that, that's when it hit me. I'm like, shit, she's on her period. What the fuck, bro? But I was prepared, bro. I go over there to my fridge, grab a few newspapers off the top and head upstairs. I get in the room. She says, what the hell are those newspapers for? I'm like, yo. I done seen American Psycho, you know what I'm saying? I know we finna leave a crime scene right here. I'm just trying to make sure we keep it as clean as possible. You feel me? She says, oh yeah, well about that. I'm not actually on my period. I was just saying that to see if you really wanted me to come over. So you mean to tell me you got me out here in FP Con Delta, ready to go in the red zone, and your ass ain't even bleeding? Bitch, get the fuck out! Like, trust me, I was definitely happy that she wasn't really on a period, but at the same time, I was kind of bold because, like, I had to mentally prepare myself for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I had to go through so much preparation thinking, dog, if you go through with this s rank mission, like, you definitely finna be a Joni after this. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, and then she took that away from me. Anyways, so, as we got past that point, like I told y'all, bro, I want to lick her whole fucking body. Like, literally every inch of her. So, she knows me, dog. I don't try to eat the box first all the time. Like, on the front, you know what I'm saying? I got to get the head to motivate me. You know what I'm saying? A little, little Kickstarter, you know what I'm saying? But this time, I did it, bro. Went down there. Started devouring, bro. Having a whole Thanksgiving meal. Then after a while, I was like, yo... Bro, I'm dead ass experimenting with the pussy and realizing that it literally feels exactly like the inside of our cheek. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what pussy feels like. Like if any one of y'all girls ever want to know what it feels like, just finger the inside of your mouth. Like the crazy thing is I've never in my life been this motivated to eat pussy. Like, bro, like I was literally taking her clit and doing her shit like cocky when did that cherry and fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You know what I'm saying? This ecstasy had me wildin', bro. Like, dog, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was literally doing anything I possibly could. Bro, I tried to blow air in her pussy. It was so weird, dog. And I did this shit long as fuck. So then I finally get up. Now it's my turn. She's still laying down on her back, right? I start slowly crawling up towards her face. Get up there and I'm like, hey, don't even worry about blowing the inner tube. I got this right now. But I know how long you be taking to come. If you're trying to get yours, 
<laughs> Bitch, you got 24 seconds in this start right now. Shot clock. Look, you gotta think about it like this, right? If I already don't last long and I'm off the drug that makes me wanna fuck even more and makes shit feel a hundred times better, what the hell makes you think I'm finna last any longer? Now, bruh, when I got up in the box, oh, bruh, bruh, it was crazy, right? Cause after having sex with the same girl five years, bruh, you would think that you know the pussy enough to where it ain't gonna feel but so much different. My nigga, the ecstasy. Dog, it made me feel like I stuck my dick in the oven. I was like, yo, stuck it in there and just sat for a minute. I'm laying there. She was like, are you gonna move? I was like, nah, I gotta let it bake for a minute. Hold up. Now with her, right? After I put it in her, that's when like, I guess her ecstasy really took effect. Cause like, she showed me a side of her that I've never seen before. Now this woman, she knows I'm not vocal when it comes to having sex. Like, yo, like I'll, I'll moan, might say a few words, but like, I'm not actually gonna straight up have a full blown conversation with you. Like, I'm not talking. Bruh, first thing she gonna say is, Daquan, call me a bitch. I ain't know what to do, cause like I said, I've never, and she knows me, I've never, I don't even like calling women bitches. Like I know I might say bitch a lot, you know what I'm saying, my jokes and shit, but I never actually call women bitches like to their faces, cause like I just don't like doing that. Dog, I said it in the most awkward way possible. I was like, okay, fucking bitch. Nigga, I said it like a straight up white boy talking to his mom, bruh. Yeah, so after that awkward outburst from me, she decides to get on top before she loses her mood. And I'm like, okay, she gets on top, she starts riding. Now, now ladies, I'm not gonna say that this doesn't feel good, but like, I know it feels good to y'all, but like for us, it's just like, I mean, I right, we in some pussies, you know what I'm saying? So like, she started doing that grinding thing and I'm just like, yo, Bitch, want you to clips or something? Even them niggas weren't grinding this long. Like, yo, get the fuck, you know what I'm saying? If you don't start riding this dick like a motherfucking hog, you better start bouncing up and down like motherfucking Tigger. Like you a motherfucker on a pogo stick. You don't hear all of these city girl bitches and all this other shit talking about riding this dick like a motherfucking stallion. And after I said that, that's when she really started putting in work. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, she was bouncing up and down with it. You know what I'm saying? But look, not only was she putting in work, she wanted to experiment. Yeah. Not anywhere near that area before y'all niggas even try me like that. Bruh, she on top of a nigga. Going off. Then she leans down and says, Daquan, open your mouth. I'm about to spit in it. I'm like, yo, you ain't about to spit in shit. What the fuck type of nigga I look like? Yo, nasty ass shit. Like, bruh, I'm subconsciously opening my mouth as I'm saying all of this shit. Like, y'all really do not understand what ecstasy will do to you. That shit will keep you horny as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, trust me. So like, after we were done, you know what I'm saying, a while after, she went to sleep. And you know me, I'm wide awake, cause um, another little detail I left out was um, that I took two of those by accident. I mean, it went by accident, but like, nigga, I just really, really wanted to feel it. Plus I had a mission, nigga, I had to make sure I was ready for this, you know what I'm saying? So, she's laying there. Naked, talking about fully naked. And I don't know why I'm looking at her titties and I'm just like, bruh, these are what real titties look like. Those are real titties, nigga. Like, bruh, look, that's a whole nipple right there. Nigga, look at the areolas. Like, bruh, areol areolas kind of sound like, like a legendary bird Pokemon or something, but dog, look at them. It was crazy because I felt like a pervert because I felt like. I was like spying on her because you know what I'm saying? I was studying her whole body while she was asleep. Like nigga, it felt weird. I'm just sitting there looking at her and I'm like, dog, like you really looking at this woman, sleeping woman's titties. Then I'm like, bro, you literally just had so much sex with the same woman. Like nigga, you had, you literally just licked her whole entire ass. See, it was plenty of things that I actually left out. And I feel like um, that was one of the things that should just, you know, stay between me and her. But anyways, yeah, so y'all, that was my first ecstasy trip. Now, before we end this video, I wanna go ahead and thank every single one of y'all for not only watching, but liking my content and subscribing to my channel. Thank y'all so much, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't gonna keep telling y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying, to subscribe to my shit and to like my shit. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all to the ones who do. And thank y'all to the ones who follow me and fuck with me for me, you know what I'm saying? And before I end this video, I just wanna make this very, very clear. I am not encouraging anybody to buy ecstasy. Do not take 
ecstasy. Do not listen to what I'm saying. I mean, like, listen to what I'm saying, but like, listen to what I'm saying. Do not take ecstasy. But if you know who got it, then holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, hit it, nigga, inbox or something. Nigga, I'll answer any fucking social media account that you DM. I'm trying to tell y'all, nigga, just give me the, the right shit because my man, he ain't like he got him no more. You know what I'm saying? I knew in the beginning I was different Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen Put my foot on the gas and now I get it I look back for my niggas and they was missing I double back and went and got them, I won't leave them Cause don't 